Hey there YouTube, it's Goodness Seventy Three making another video and today I'll be discussing the topic of jimping and related to especially um, is it needed? You know, do you need jimping on a folder and is it really all that beneficial? And um, in my opinion, I mean, um, I guess it depends on what you're doing with your knife first off. Um, if you're finding yourself in a, using your knife to primarily like stab into things, jimping might be helpful. But even then, um, I find that when holding a knife and using a knife, gripping it hard for a while and it has jimping, that the more aggressive the jimping is, um, it'll be more of a hot spot as you're using it on, you know, the more you use your handle, you know, you'll, and how you're tightly gripping the knife, the, the jimping will be more of a uh, nuisance than a, uh, than a good thing. And the, of course, it depends on the knife and the jimping itself. You know, like, um, I think Spyderco does their jimping pretty well. You know, it's, that's not everywhere. It's strategically placed, you know, and it's not like you're going to be bearing down on that thumb ramp. You know, I mean, when I normally hold the knife, my thumb is sort of, it just sits there. You know, I'm not really, you know, there's no jimping where I'd be gripping hard. Whereas in the ZT, you know, there's jimping like, um, right there. And that could hurt your finger. Not hurt, but just, you know, be uncomfortable. Um... Then you have knives like, say, the Tilt. Um, the Tilt doesn't have any jimping whatsoever, um, yet I've never felt that I would slip off of it, even though the handle is kind of smooth, simply because of how it's shaped. I mean, you have this deep finger guard or finger groove here with the flipper. You know, I mean, um, and it's a large handle. You can get a lot of grip on it. No worries, basically. You know, then there are knives where the jimping doesn't really do all that much, where it's more ornamental. I'd say that it's weird because some Sabenzas have decent jimping that works. Like on my large Sabenza, the um, the jimping works just fine. You know, if anything, it's perfect. I mean, it's not aggressively, it doesn't hurt my finger, but at the same time, it's not going anywhere. So, good. Then we have knives like the small Sabenza. And uh, when these were made, this one was made October 2011. This one, June of uh, 08. So this one, the jimping is completely useless. I mean, if I even bear down, you can see that my finger is still slipping. So not all jimping is created equal, obviously. Um, in my opinion, I mean, I guess an overall um, synopsis would be that I think that, you know, it's one of those things where for some people, jimping either having it or not having it is a deal breaker. You know, they'll say, oh, the um, Kershaw Tilt doesn't have jimping, so it's not a good tactical knife. You know, I, won't, I don't even want it because it doesn't have any jimping. I think that's kind of silly. You know, then the same thing would be, say, like, oh, the ZT0550 has a lot of jimping, and I don't want it at all. You know, it's I'm not even going to consider it because of that jimping. You know, I just think, I think some of those deal breakers are just kind of silly. You know, I mean, overall, I mean, it's just one of those small, nitpicky aspects of knives that people in the knives will just completely blow out of proportion. You know, they'll say, well, you know, um, you know, I really like this knife, but the jimping sucks, so therefore the knife sucks. You know, I don't really follow that logic. You know, then you have knives like, you know, this Lock and Eco, which don't have any jimping either, yet they're quite awesome. So, um... Hopefully you guys found that interesting, um, if you feel differently about jimping, if it is your life, <laughs> and um, any knife with or without it is simply incomplete or completely ruined by having it, feel free to voice your opinion below. So, thanks for watching, I appreciate the views, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.